Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Dingman and I am a member of the PR Council's Shadow Board, PRC Next. Today I want to talk about ways to bring integrated thinking into PR campaigns. I am a platform strategist here at Current Marketing and I sit within the integrated media team. I do not have a traditional PR role. Instead, I am tasked with providing strategic counsel and execution support on integrated campaign elements like influencers, paid media, and social media. It's an exciting role because the media landscape is changing, and in order to keep pace, PR firms everywhere are expanding their capabilities to include specialties outside of traditional media outreach. The lines between earned, owned, and paid aren't only blurred, they're disappearing. Today's media dynamic demands seamless integration. So, let's take a quick look at ways you can leverage influencers, social media, and paid media to help maximize PR campaigns. Influencers. Long gone are the days of working with mommy bloggers. Today's influencers can be anyone with influence on any topic on multiple platforms. There are so many categories of influencers nowadays, from celebrities to micro-influencers, and depending on your need, you may choose to use influencers in different ways. If you need to build credibility, for example, it may make sense to partner with an expert. If you need mass awareness, perhaps a top-tier online influencer makes the most sense. And you may even need to partner with a variety of influencers to round out your message and reach a variety of audiences. When selecting the right influencer partners, do your homework. What other brands have they worked with? Do they have an engaged audience? What sort of content do they create? And most importantly, do they have an authentic following? The New York Times has written a few articles on the rise of fake influence and fake followers. With the race to grow followers at an all-time high, influencers or wannabe influencers have turned to buying followers to boost the appearance of their influence. Since there's no universal means to compensate influencers, most payments are based on the size of following that a particular influencer has. So it's imperative that we do our homework and investigate whether the influence is legitimate or not. There are several tools out there that can help with this now. Dovetail is one, um, but there are several others available. Social media. Let's switch to talk quickly about social. The media dynamic is fully integrated. All news is social, and social media drives news. It's imperative that we think through ways that our news or campaign will live online. And usually that involves thinking of compelling content that can accompany our message. Our brains process images 60,000 times faster than text, and 90% of the information transmitted to the brain is visual. News feeds are the norm, so images and videos are key to supporting a story. We have to ensure assets are made to be shared. And visual assets aren't a one-size-fits-all when it comes to social platforms. Copying and pasting the same visual or video across multiple platforms might not make the most sense. Instead, think of ways your messaging can come to life in a way that makes the most sense for the platform at hand. Instead of pushing a TV commercial to Facebook, what if you created supplementary content that was shorter and more socially shareable? One of my favorite examples of this is from Geico. They took one of their television commercials and created relevant supplemental content that made sense for social. The funny TV commercial featured raccoons sifting through garbage. For social, they created tasty style videos of the raccoons cooking with garbage. In my opinion, this was a smart and hilarious way to extend the TV commercial into the social space and create content that made sense for the platform and the audience. So think through which platforms make the most sense to create content for based on the audience and the message. Paid media. Lastly, the importance of paid media. I would encourage you to incorporate paid support into all of your plans. Whether or not you're the one who will ultimately execute, it's good to provide recommendations on the best ways to use paid support to help amplify your campaign. If you're anticipating generating a lot of media attention, perhaps it's a good idea to build in budget to syndicate earned coverage in order to lengthen the shelf life. Or maybe it makes sense to carve out budget to amplify or whitelist influencer posts for a bit of added reach. Whether it's a strategic paid partnership or a social media advertising campaign that makes the most sense, think through ways that paid support will help maximize success and provide the recommendation. Well, that's all. Thanks for listening. I hope these quick tips have helped you think about ways to incorporate integrated elements into your PR campaigns. Don't forget to check back each month for more features from fellow PRC Next board members and to follow the PR Council on social. Thank you.